Do you think you would have come to grad school if you knew this was going to be a threat? Yeah. That's, I don't know. That's, that's a if. That, this is... So grad students are the engine of scientific discovery, without a doubt. In order to keep the United States in its place as a leader of scientific innovation in the world, we have to have creative, innovative, driven graduate students in our laboratories. The recently proposed tax bill, or the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, is a major threat to graduate education and science. House of Representatives passed a tax bill that would cut graduate tuition waivers, meaning it would tax or free tuition. This removal would make PhD student tuition taxable income. The vast majority of PhD students do not pay tuition because we work for universities as teaching assistants and researchers. I'm researching to find better, uh, more aggressive therapies to fight pancreatic cancer. My research focuses on the effects of air pollution on immune cells in the lung. I work on developing computational models of heart cells, which we use to better understand heart disease and develop treatments for heart disease. It's important for people to realize that graduate students are really the lifeblood of um, research at the university. Cutting tuition waivers would make PhD students pay taxes on income that never even touches their bank account. PhD students typically earn between $20,000 and $35,000 a year as a stipend, and we pay taxes on that. My income is about 25000 a year, and yet the post-tax bill would raise my taxes to as if I made $50,000 a year. At the University of California, Davis, our tuition is thirteen dollars to $30,000 a year, depending on residency. Paying taxes on this tuition would raise our yearly taxes between $2,000 and $5,000 per year. This would come out of our stipends. PhD student budgets are already tight, and we knew this going into grad school. However, this proposed removal of the tuition waiver would make graduate school unaffordable. This will directly impair our ability to, uh, to get the best and brightest students to pursue advanced study in graduate education without concern of additional costs associated with this tax. I definitely wouldn't have chosen to come to grad school if I knew that it would come with a financial burden. I would probably not have gone to grad school if I knew that I would have to pay taxes on money that I didn't see because there would be no way for me to afford it. It's such a significant impact on my life financially um, that I'm not necessarily sure if I would be able to stay or continue my studies. But I know that it would really reduce a lot of people's ability to come and I believe that grad school should be as inclusive as possible. I, I'm not married, I don't have kids. Um, I don't own a house, but if this tax plan goes through, I think that would put a lot of other parts of my life on hold. The Senate version of the tax reform bill does not include the removal of tuition waivers, and we are thankful for that. However, negotiations over the final bill would require a decision on tuition waivers. There is still time to act. Um, the, the bill has not been voted on yet. It still needs to go through reconciliation between the House and the Senate. Uh, so it is important to get the word out to, for everyone to talk to their friends, to their families, so that we can uh, inform our lawmakers uh, about the additional burden that this type of um, bill would represent on our graduate students. We ask our representatives, fellow voters and policymakers, to keep tuition waivers in our tax code. Without them, graduate education cannot survive. My name is Maria Paz Prada. I'm Samantha. Ms. Divya Kernick. I'm Sam. Ms. Elizabeth Lee. I'm Eric Hammes. Kevin Campbell. Kitchen UHD. Uh, Michelle Gannett. I'm Kelly Britt. Cameron Flair. My name's Lainey.